This was revealed by the chairman of the airline company, Colin Abrams, who informed this newscast of the operations and initiatives which a carrier will be undertaking in the coming months. During that time, the sales office at Barrack and High Streets, Kingston, was open on Thursday so as to engage stakeholders on some of the services and routes which are offered by the new airline corporation. As part of the operations, the management is planning to commence operations during the month of October. Initially, the aircrafts will ply routes to Cuba, Barbados, and Trinidad. And airways, uh, we are going to be flying the Caribbean for now simply because uh, Guyana is a Category 2 country and we're unable to fly to North America as a Category 2 country. So we'll be flying to Cuba. Our inaugural flight will be to Havana, Cuba. And from Havana, Cuba, we'll be flying throughout the other parts of the Caribbean, like Barbados and Trinidad. We're hopefully, hopefully like to commence operation in October after our crews are trained in Miami. And uh, that's about, yeah, we're, we're shooting for October. Abrams noted that they are awaiting a confirmation from the Guyana Civil Aviation Authority as it relates to the acquisition of their license, which will give the final confirmation on their operation plans. He noted that this will be done after checks are made by the GCAA during piloted flights to verify if the company is abreast with all of the guidelines and standards which were initially set out. That's, that's a part of the, uh, the, the AOC process, the licensing process. We have to fly trips and they observe that our trips are flown within the uh, realms of our the operating procedures that we have in our manuals that we actually wrote in our manuals. Meanwhile, it is related that the aircraft is not owned by the company but will be dry leased. As such, some 80 flight attendants were hired to provide the designated services. Rupa Sinrain, The Evening News.